Frank Lev. To Josiah and fellow teachers and students, I want to tell you a dirty secret about teachers. Teachers don't always like their students. This is a story about a student that I didn't like who taught me a valuable lesson. Mr. Park was a 22-year-old student in my university public speaking class, and he was impossible. Impossible to teach, impossible to communicate with. Not just because his language level was low, but he couldn't understand simple gestures like be quiet, listen, or sit down. And any time I tried to talk to him, there was this intense, awkward feeling that was so strong, it made me feel uncomfortable. You see, I used to suffer from social awkwardness. So being around Mr. Park was like being around a disease that I didn't want to catch again. <laughs> but it wasn't only me, because I rarely saw him sit with or talk to other students. In fact, he was a loner, he was a weirdo, or as Koreans say, Wang Tam. I'll never forget his first speech. It was so bad. He completely misunderstood the assignment, and after 30 seconds, he just stopped. And his second speech wasn't any better. In fact, some of the students laughed at him. Now, I never laughed at him. I always tried to show him respect, which is why, perhaps, he thought I liked him. <laughs> and every time after class, he would come and talk to me, try to talk to me. And I hated that because it was so <laughs> awkward <laughs> and frustrating. Uh, teacher. Uh, <laughs> but finally, it was the last class, and I always hand out a poem to them by Langston Hughes. Hold fast to dreams. In this case, fast means tight. For if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams. For if dreams go, life is a barren field. And barren means dead, covered with snow. So we did the poem, we took the class picture, and that was it. I was finished, I was so happy. Except that Mr. Park came to talk to me again. <laughs> this time with another student. Uh, professor, Mr. Park wants me to tell you that he's going in the army soon. I thought, great. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought deeper because I had heard about the Korean army, how sometimes there's teasing and bullying, and some people get beat up because they're different. And for some young men, they even killed themselves. It's gotten so bad. And I wondered, what's going to happen to poor Mr. Park? But I didn't see or think about him for more than two years until last semester I was walking to class and I heard, teacher. And I turned around and looked. And I couldn't quite recognize who it was until I got close and there's this intense, awkward feeling. <laughs> oh. It's Mr. Park. <laughs> well, he looked different. His hair was short. He looked strong. Well, I had to say something. Uh, <coughs> Army finished now? Nah. Uh, Hongdae student now? Uh, nah. OK, well, really nice to see you. Got to go. Bye. And I started walking away. And then I heard in a really soft voice, teacher. And he said it so soft, I thought, I can just ignore it. And I kept walking. And then I heard in a very strong voice, hold fast to dreams. What? What did you say? And as I got close, I saw there was a little tear in his eye. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. But now the tears were streaming down his face. I couldn't believe it. He said it perfectly looked at him and I just saw all the pain and suffering he had gone through in the last two years and I just shook his hand and said I'm so sorry and I turned to go but he grabbed my wrist and he spun me around he was strong <laughs> <laughs> took out his wallet and there in that place where there's usually a picture of a girlfriend or a loved one was that poem that I'd given him more than two years before thought about him differently after that. I still didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> but I respected him because he made it. And I made it. Because my dream is to be a good teacher. Someone who can make a difference. 
and I realized you never know when you might say or do something at work or in your life that can make a difference. And you never know who you might affect, even someone who seems impossible, like Mr. Park. And you never know how much you might affect them, maybe even save a life. Let it go, let it go, <laughs> can't hope, stop. I'm so tired of that song. <laughs> Don't let it go. In this complex world we live in, it is so easy to undervalue the importance of a dream. In the big picture, an individual dream can seem insignificant. That's one reason why many people let it go. Sometimes we need a Mr. Park to remind us of the importance of our dreams to ourselves, to others, to someone. My dreams and your dreams really do matter. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. I taught that poem to Mr. Park. Now here's another secret. Mr. Park taught me more. He helped bring that poem and my teachings back to life. And by the way, I recently found out about Mr. Park's dream. He wants to be an English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it go. Hold fast to dreams. Mr. Contest.